everyone. So today we have an extra special video for you today. We are at the Ontario Science Centre and we're going to check out this exhibit called Indigenous Ingenuity. So we're going to go see Walter who's going to give us a guided tour around the exhibit. Let's go see. Hi Walter, I'm Mallory. Hi Mallory, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. All right, so how do we get started with this exhibit here? So it, it begins with this bracelet, and it, this bracelet allows you to interact with all the experiences. It also helps track what you've done so that you have an understanding of what you've seen. And you can all choose right. English or French, activate it, put it on, and we're ready to go. Okay, perfect. Got one on right now, so let's activate that. All it's right, so good. where do we start? So we can start just about anywhere. It's, it's set up uh, in the four cardinal directions. Okay, and the four cardinal directions, as in the medicine wheel? As in the medicine wheel, Perfect. exactly right. Yeah. So where do you recommend us starting? Well, why don't we start right here? Okay. I think this is a great exhibit that shows us really the, the, the wonderful science that's integrated in everything, as well as the traditional knowledge. It's All a, right. So are we starting out in the north? Here we are uh, looking towards, uh, this is more spring, we're looking towards okay. the east. Okay, so this is the eastern section of the medicine wheel here. Eastern section of the medicine wheel. Alrighty. Right. Hatch four fish to feed your family. And the My family would need a lot more than four. <laughs> this is very challenging. It can't, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and that's another thing about uh, a, a well-made exhibition like this is you, you have different levels of challenge depending on what you're looking for, right? right something right. that a, a younger uh, user could engage in or something that perhaps, you know, you and I can scratch our heads about and I think this see is if the we right can figure answer. out. I think, I think you're right. I'd agree with you. So let's try see. it. Yeah, very good. Well yes. done. <laughs> So should we look through this wall as well? Yeah. This is the same like educational storytelling. Is that the intent? Exactly right. Well, okay. and, and a lot of, so indigenous knowledge, in fact, all knowledge really is contained in stories, yes. right? And we tell stories in order to, to pass on information. And so mm -hmm. if, we're, if we're going to share indigenous science, then of course we have to, we have to share the indigenous story. And so yes. that, that's what a, a lot of these walls, all the walls, in fact, in the, in the four different directions have specific stories from, from different different communities across Canada that, that share that information. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so we can see the legend of maple syrup. And I know yes. that just for you guys watching, if you put your bracelet near um, At the end of the line, one of these, it'll share a story. Supplies were running low. Whether we're, we're talking about science from that's evolved from Western Europe or science from our indigenous communities here, mm -hmm. same idea, observe nature, right? We're, we're, we're listening to elders. We're, we're the, and knowledge keepers. We're experimenting and we're sharing that information. We're passing it on. So here's an example in which we're able to, to listen and we can listen in to uh, some knowledge keepers and, and, and elders in their own right. Amazing. Yeah. All right, who can guess what language that is they're speaking? <laughs> Do you usually have kids that come in and sit around inside the teepee? Oh yes, yes. Yeah? <laughs> they'll come in and they'll crawl in to the teepee. There's also an opportunity to make your own. <gasps> okay. And this is another opportunity to engage in a, in a quiz. All right, so what section of the medicine wheel are we in now? So now, this is for summer? summer. We're looking okay. at summer, that's right. Love it. Okay, yeah, so we have a lot of like content relating to medicine wheel teachings. Okay, and one thing that we talk about is how there isn't only one perfect medicine wheel. Like mm. we all have our own stories that were passed down to us, and it's uh, important to just reflect on whichever medicine wheel teaching is most significant to you, right? So, That's right. all right. So, what are we looking at here? We've got uh, some more like teachings through oral, oral storytelling. That's right. Yeah, exactly okay. right. And and some some are, are visual without the the added story, okay. uh, in which we can we can follow along uh, with the accompanying text. Oh my gosh, we've got the Thompson brothers here. Across? Yes, that's right. Is I, this in the right spot? Should this be in the Creators Game exhibit? Well, the, the, actually, this is, think of it as a teaser. That's right. We do have teaser. some special okay, programs on today, right? Yes. With the Creators Game uh, zones downstairs. But this, this came with the, the exhibition. So this is, this is also part of uh, uh, Canadian heritage, of course. And what's this one we're looking at here behind you? So, snowshoes. Now, so you have these different sizes, different uh, styles of snowshoe that you can experiment with. These are the ones I'm familiar with. Yeah, they look right to me too. Yeah. Now, you might change, some of these shapes are, are, are somewhat irregular, but these you, you might change them. feet. <laughs> okay, so now we're moving into the red section of the medicine wheel, That's correct? Right. That's right. The season of fall. That's right. And, right. and stories that would be associated with that, also with that 
direction and so some directionality as to where that those stories come from in our in our country as well. Okay. One of my favorites for our younger friends, although you know challenging for all of us sometimes, is the idea of can you match the animal to the print? Ooh. <laughs> and there's uh, there's information all over your your square in order to to see if you can like clues clues and hints exactly. But so if you take fun. a good look. Got so. It. Is the proper way to play this to walk around on the mat and find the tracks? Yes. Well, <laughs> people will play in whichever way they play. But yes, if, if you want to... You don't chuck them. No, though, don't right? chuck no, them. Don't, don't chuck don't them. Don't throw them. Uh, and Let's see animal them. face up. Okay. You find, Is that one... Yes. Did I get... Yes, you did. Okay, and the, if the, the tracks disappear... If the tracks disappear, you found them. Yeah, that's right. I love that. Yeah. I am definitely not known for my hunting and tracking skills. Now, what I love about this game, of course, is because the prints disappear when you find it, it never ends. <laughs> so you just keep moving them over and over and there's, again. There's more than one, is what you're saying. Yes. Like well, there, there's more than sense. one for each of the animals? Yeah, so th again, this is um, a good example of excellent exhibit design where it resets. So even if someone has found all the animals and put it in place, the next person comes and is, right. they can still engage. It's never finished. It's never finished. Yeah, so it's ongoing. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's very consistent with like indigenous teachings of continuing. Yes. Yes. Continuing our journeys. Yeah. Wow. It's so beautiful. Okay. So we've got similar sort of like uh, the animal theme is, is pretty prominent with this section. Yes. The root understanding of, of all science mm -hmm. is observation of of the world around us and right. so the observation of the natural world and, okay. and so yes that comes through a lot you're, you're absolutely right where we're observing animals and learning from what they do yes in, in order to inform perhaps what we could do yes and i love the presence of the sacred plants mm -hmm. that you can yes. see in each of the sections like here we can see ginseng uh, actually one of my uncles is a gatherer of ginseng oh, okay. yes good. and in like its natural form and right. So that one hits home for me, for sure. One of my one of my favorite experiences here is building an igloo. Okay. And this is where I think the the novice igloo builder discovers one very important thing: you can't do this by yourself. Right. This is very yes. much a group it's a activity. Team effort. Yeah. Yes. And complete strangers band together in order to make this yes. work. Yes. <laughs> Shows you how important community is. Yeah. Right? That's right. Exactly. Yes. Right. Exactly. Fortunately. For, yeah. Again, for the novice builder, it's they're numbered. Okay. And oh, so we can see it over here. We, we can. That's right. And in fact, here's a, a diagram of some of the important pieces to the igloo, so that you know. Instructions. Yeah, yeah. There's, some, there's, a, there's, there's instructions. There's a bit of guidance. Uh, knowing that that this is these are the ones that are going to surround your door. Ooh. That's important. I wonder if our ancestors had instructions. Mm, maybe not like this. No. <laughs> I'm sure they, they, they learned from past I love generations. It. We'll wait till right? more friends arrive yes. and we can tackle that task. <laughs> so we've got more teachings down the wall, correct? That's right. Yeah, exactly right. And, and again, more hands-on opportunity. Try scraping the fat from the seal skin without damaging it. There's actually an opportunity to do that here on, these, on this screen. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so you can, you can choose what, you, what might be the right tool. Yes. I did this in a past life. Yeah, very good. We've got the legend of Sedna. Yes. Once, there was a beautiful young woman named Sedna. She had refused all offers of marriage. But one day, a strange hunter appeared, and she agreed to go off with him. The hunter took her to an island, where he imprisoned her and revealed his true nature. Okay, so then this is the last area? Yes. Now, we've, we've done a tour around the outside, so we've, we've skipped some of the, the, the other um, okay. exhibits. The, there's, I think, I think we're neighboring around 50 different individual things to do, oh, to interact wow. with. So there's, there's, there's a lot. It, it, so 50 different interactive like activities or learning experiences yeah, within this. I can double check that number for you. That's, but that's amazing. That's, there's quite a bit to do, quite a bit to do. Different ways of learning. So okay. all learners are, are represented here, right? Yep. Hands-on, you can read, you can listen. Okay, so when we're finished up at least doing the perimeter, we didn't do all of the different activities within, no. but that was a nice sort of guide of everything around the edge of the circle. And then we finish up with a chimiguetch and thank you, merci, and thank you for coming. That's, that's the right way to do it, right? Yeah, and before you, before you return your bracelet, there's a chance to look and see the different things that you've explored. Mm. Right, so you get an understanding. I love that, you know, like a scavenger hunt. Like a scavenger hunt. If there's something that you missed, you can go back and catch it if you want to do that. And it, okay. It, you can you can take a look at your mm. final results. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, do you want to see? And then we win a prize? No, no prizes. <laughs> I, I, the, the prize, of course, is, is knowledge. Your, your own knowledge. The gift yeah. of knowledge yeah, and yeah, experience. Personal edification, that's right, that's right. Got it. <laughs> okay, well, what a great way to finish off the Indigenous Ingenuity uh, exhibit here, Walter. Thank you so much for showing us around. I My really, pleasure. really appreciate it. It was so nice to meet you. Great to meet you, All too. All right, now let's go.